What's up everyone, Shadovin here, and welcome back to my Dark Souls 3 Tips and Tricks. In this video, we're going to be acquiring the Claymore and driving off the dragon at High Wall of Lothric. Now, before you do this, you need to have a bow or crossbow with 99 bolts or arrows. So, right here where the dragon lands, just run past these guys, keep going, get to the door, open it. The dragon's going to breathe fire, killing most of the enemies, though you may have to finish off one or two, such as I did here. Now, you're going to step out just a little bit. You'll see here, like, you know, 10, 15 feet from the front door. Actually, basically right past those columns is where you want to go. Look to your left. You're going to see one of its talons hanging there. All you got to do now is equip your bow or crossbow. Whatever you use. Make sure you've got your arrows. And just aim at the foot. And just keep firing. Now, if you are curious as to whether you're actually doing anything... If you look to your left during this process, you can see the dragon's health card, see how much damage you're doing. I have the minimum 14 decks to use this bow, and at this range I believe I'm doing about 55 per shot. It's going to take me, I believe it, it took me 40 or 50 something arrows to get it to go away. Now, I apologize as I'm recording for my PlayStation, so I don't have a way to speed this up. Right there you can see where I was doing the damage. But it does take a couple of minutes. Uh, so, as you can see there, we just keep shooting. No other enemies are going to come up here. Nothing's going to bother you. The dragon keeps breathing fire. It just goes right past you. You don't even have to worry about it. Now, you can, of course, acquire the claymore in other ways. You could just wait for the dragon to breathe, then sprint through the burning ground, which will hurt you, and get to it there at the very end. However, that is the risky way because you can die doing it. This way, there's no threat of death and the dragon's gone forever, so you don't have to deal with it anymore. Alright, let's see there. I'm getting there. I'm getting closer on my arrow supply. I'm about to be in the 60s. If I remember correctly, I had about 56 arrows or so left when this process was done. So it's going to take a few more. Well, like I said, the good thing about this is you don't need a large investment in stats. You can do this the moment you can use any kind of ranged weapon. I've done it on my soul level 1 character with a crossbow, which you can use with just 10s and everything. <clears throat> it took a little bit longer, but it's still quite doable. Now, the other thing is when you drive the dragon off, right there you see it, you get a large titanite shard, which in this early portion of the game, very nice to have. It's going to give you a little bit of a heads up, you know, a little bit of a boost on upgrading your weapons. So you can get an ember, a club, which I mean we all know what the club is. I don't think anyone's really looking for it. But most importantly, down here, you get a soul, which I ran by, and the claymore. Claymore is, of course, a good great sword. It's the earliest great sword of the game. As you can see there, unusually large and heavy greatsword, normally wielded with two hands. It does have DD at this point, though I believe the scaling does get better. It has a decent move set, and it has the stance skill, which I am highly fond of, as that gives you the guard break and a nice damaging attack. So there you have it, everyone. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you all next time.